In this session, I would like to go over the procedure used to establish a position vector between two points in three-dimensional space. Let's start with point A that is located at Cartesian coordinates 2, negative 4, 3. This point can be located in space utilizing a position vector RA that goes from the origin out to the point. The vector RA itself can be made up of three individual Cartesian vectors, AX, AY, and AZ, that are aligned along the XYZ coordinate axes. The vector RA can then be written as a vector sum of vector AX plus vector AY plus vector AZ. These individual Cartesian vectors themselves are made up of a magnitude times a direction where the directions are given by the unit vectors i, j, and k. In the case of a vector such as a, y, which points in the negative y direction, its unit vector is assigned a negative sign, in the case here, negative j. The magnitudes of these vectors can be read directly from their Cartesian coordinate of the point. In this case, ax has a magnitude of, point of 2, a y has a magnitude of 4, not negative 4, but 4. We're just looking at the magnitude of the vector. And a z has a magnitude of 3. The reason why we write negative 4 j is it's really a magnitude of 4 times the direction negative j. We just propagate the negative sign out in front of the 4 for uh, clarity purposes. We can also establish a point B in space located at Cartesian coordinates negative 4, 7, and 5. This point is again identified by a vector RB, and vector RB itself can be written as a vector sum of three Cartesian vectors BX, BY, and BZ. And again, these Cartesian components are made up of a magnitude times the direction, and the directions given by the unit vectors are either positive or negative, such as in the case of BX points in the negative X direction, so it is assigned a negative I unit vector. And again, the magnitudes are read directly from the values of the Cartesian coordinates for the point. In this case, we find out that vector RB equals negative 4i plus 7j plus 5k. So at this point, we've established vectors RA and RB. So now what we want to do is utilize vector RA. And to this, we're going to add vector RAB, which is the vector that goes from A to point B. And that by completing the vector triangle, we get the sum of RA plus RAB equals vector RB. Now we have expressions for RA and RB, so we can rearrange that a vector equation to read RAB equals RB minus RA. Then the next step in is to numerically evaluate this. So we can collect the x components, the y components, and the z components of the individual vectors, and then put in the numerical values. Now what we're doing here with the numerical values is that we have isolated just the positive i, positive j, positive k out outside the individual parentheses, and we've brought the negative signs in. So you might need to take a look at the uh, math, write it down on it with a pencil and paper to uh, prove to yourself that you agree with what's written here. And then finally, when we go through the math, we get that vector RAB equals a vector minus 6i plus 11j plus 2k. Now, this next slide, we just write out all the uh, individual results that we have, vector RA, vector RB, the vector sum that we're utilizing, and what vector RAB evaluates to. We might again note that vector RAB itself has three vector components aligned along the Cartesian coordinates. So ABX, which points in the negative x direction, ABY, which points in the positive y direction, and ABZ, that points in the positive k or the positive z direction. And this less uh, slide just shows the uh, a bounding box that kind of uh, gives you a visualization of where vector RAB is in three-dimensional space.